A house in the Iraqi city of Mosul, where more than 100 civilians were taking refuge, has been destroyed by an airstrike. That's according to locals in the city. The following video emerged overnight, showing Iraqi rescue workers pulling bodies from the rubble. There's no information so far about how many people could have died, but you can see the building has been leveled. Uh, locals claim the house was being used as a shelter from the violence. We can't independently verify the reports about this strike, but we spoke to Havidar Ahmed, who's a journalist from a Kurdish news outlet, that of Rudor. He had described what he witnessed in Mosul. Islamic State uses a new tactic now. Its fighters come to the roofs of apartment buildings where from 10 to 15 families live. Each family has five or more people, so there are around 130 to 150 people. ISIL militants prevent people from leaving and then open fire from the roofs on Iraqi forces trying to stop them. The Iraqi army and international coalition don't know that civilians are in these houses and return fire. Afterwards, it becomes clear there were civilians. Such cases happened in a new Mosul district in the west. In one house, there were 135 civilians. The international coalition dropped bombs on it, and all who were there died. There was another house where 20 people died. The operation in Mosul has been widely discussed during a global anti-ISIL coalition summit in Washington. The campaign's achievements were given much praise in the joint statement issued by foreign ministers. We commend the efforts of our Iraqi partners who have liberated more than 60% of their territory once held by ISIS and made significant progress in recovering Mosul. We underscore the need for safeguarding civilians, as well as full and immediate humanitarian access, especially for UN agencies and their partners. Our coalition is committed to supporting local forces as they move to liberate Mosul, Raqqa and other ISIS strongholds. We applaud the government of Iraq for protecting civilians in conflict zones. Now, the uh, humanitarian situation in Mosul is deteriorating as fighting in the city's densely populated areas rages on. The International Organization for Migration estimates now that more than 270,000 people have already fled. The UN believes around 400,000 civilians are still trapped in the western ISIL-held part of Mosul, where the fierce battles are currently underway. And many people there do not have access to the most basic of necessities, yet are afraid to flee because of terrorist snipers and landmines. Bruno Ghetto, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees in Iraq, told us he believes the worst is yet to come. Civilians are trying every way they can to leave, they flee in the early morning when there is fog in this season. They flee during prayer times when the ISIS guards are lessening the guard. And of course, they try to flee at night. We are receiving now eight to 12,000 people per day. In the time I was there, two to three hours, I saw at least three dozen buses bringing in uh, displaced Iraqis from Mosul. It is for sure a major emergency and the worst is still to come because there are 400,000 people estimated in the old city. And because of these people being in panic and penury, they manage just to eat one meal a day due to the fact that they, they, there is now scarcity of food, of water, 
of uh, electricity and fuel, we will have to prepare to prepare for a, for a larger outflow. That's why we are rushing against the clock to try and build new camp capacity to receive them. Artis Murad Gazdiev witnessed the devastation left by the battle for Mosul and spoke to locals who managed to flee. A warning, you may find some of the footage disturbing. Mosul is being cleansed by fire. With each new district burned, ISIS's caliphate shrinks that little bit more. And Iraqi forces are determined to keep the cleansing going. It's a matter of perspective. The Iraqi army faces a tough choice. It's either the methodical destruction of Mosul or even more soldiers' lives sacrificed. The operational cost to retake Mosul in terms of soldiers' human lives has been tremendous. You can have as many as hundreds of Iraqi casualties a day, just the military, civilians, hundreds more. We have no figures for ISIS. Partly because there's not much left of them when U.S.-led coalition jets do the rounds, them or anyone around them. This is what the aftermath of a classic airstrike in Mosul look like. A building completely destroyed. Here we have four ISIS corpses, dismembered and uh, rotting. But what ISIS usually do now to protect themselves against airstrikes is when they go up on the roof to shoot, to fight, they make sure that there are civilians below. They are the jihadists' human shield. It is a tactic as effective as it is vile. You can continue bombing them, but know this, it's not just ISIS you're going to kill. If ISIS's aim is to maximize civilian casualties, they've achieved it. If it's to stop U.S.-led coalition airstrikes, well, that they haven't done. It will take years to clear the rubble in Mosul, so immense is the damage years to dig up all the bodies. But for now, there are more pressing matters. An entire generation scarred, maimed and orphaned left with traumas that will last entire lifetimes. <laughs> Morad Gazdiev, RT, from Mosul, Iraq. Yeah, we are very closely following the situation in Mosul on air and online. We'll give you the latest as soon as we get it.